Is it better to be loved or feared as a leader? If you would like to find out, this video is for you. Hi, my name is Michael Gibbs, and I'm the founder and CEO of Go Cloud Careers. And we're an organization that's truly dedicated towards building the most high performance cloud computing and technology careers. Personally, I've been working in tech now for over 25 years, and I've been helping others get their first tech job or get promoted into great leaders for more than two decades, and I want to help you build your best career, either as a manager, director, VP, cloud architect, solutions architect, you need to be a great leader. And the reality is to achieve anything great, even if you're not an official manager, you still need great leadership skills. Let's talk about, is it better to be loved or feared? And it's gonna all go back to being loved. Now there are various leadership styles and leaders all around the world. And some leaders are loved and deliver exceptional results and others, not so much. I've been teaching these kind of things for about two decades, but in the past few years, there was a really book, good book called Adored, The Leader Your Team Needs You To Be. And I'm gonna go through some lessons from this book. Now, as a leader, I've always tried to read two to three books per week, keep me sharpened. It makes sure that I'm the best leader I can be. And recently I read this book and I kind of liked it and it summarized some of the things I've been teaching for decades. So I wanna go through this book for you and I highly recommend you read the book. Adore the leader your team needs to be for new leaders. In this book, there's the definition of the three A's of leadership. And I completely agree with this, the three types of leaders. We're gonna go over all of them, the appointed leader, the accepted leader, and of course, the adored leader, which is your goal. An appointed leader is someone that basically gets told, hey, you're in charge. Now, the reality is this person is not a fantastic leader. They typically are not bought in. They typically don't care. Somebody told them they were in charge, and they're in charge. Not stellar results, etc., etc. They're simply there to fill a role. And in many cases, ego, the way they interact with the team, really gets in the way of the team's success. In effect, the appointed leader is basically a crony of the boss. Now, next, we're going to talk about the accepted leader. Now, the accepted leader is a moderately good leader. This person usually cares about the organization and their team, and they work very hard. They're somewhat effective, but they don't stand out. I like to view the accepted leader as the following. Meet the new boss, same as the old boss. Just like the song from The Who, we won't get fooled again. Meet the new boss, same as the old boss. Now, where things really change is with the adored leader. This person is loved, has a high-performing and loyal team. The person's respected by their team, honored by the team, and truly loved. Adored leaders have high-performance teams, and deliver exceptional results, all while being loved and adored, and their team is very happy. So what goes into the key traits and characteristics of the adored leader? Well, it's gonna be following. The first thing is focus. Adored leaders have a laser-like focus. The team all knows about the mission and the mission goals. The team has bought in and performing. The adored leader is accountable for their actions, takes ownership of their mistakes and failures, and shares. Uh, successes of the team with the team, but it's really the ownership and it's really the laser-like focus. Now, the second principle of the adored leader is preparation. Adored leaders prepare for the mission, the job, the presentation. You can count on them to deliver. They're not gonna be winging it. They're prepared. They use some perfect practice to make their techniques perfect and they are prepared for everything they do and you can count on them. Now, while we're talking about accountability, Adored leaders follow through on their commitments. They are committed to their company, their team, and if they say they're gonna do something, they do it. They do it, and they do it right. Last on our list is the ability to reflect. A great leader or an adored leader will always look at their own actions. What can I do better? What happened in this project? What could I do better? What could the team do better? And they make everybody better, and not in a punishment way. They raise the energy of the team, they raise the productivity of the team, and the capability of the team through training and coaching. Likewise, the adored leader is constantly working on themselves. Adored leaders are always looking for ways to improve. I read three books a week and have for the last 20 some years. I'm always trying to be improved and I'm always trying to work harder to be a more adored leader. So now you know the type of leadership that works. Is it better to be loved or better to be feared? It's better to be loved in every way, shape or form. You'll have a more sustainable long-term team. If you're looking to move into a leadership role or getting promoted in tech, we have a tech career accelerator program that can truly help you reach your goals by teaching you the right leadership skills, executive communication, executive presence, CXO relevancy, communication styles, and everything you need to get to your next goal. The link to that course is in the description below. 
Hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you in another video coming very soon. Take care.